It was really late when I pulled into the desolate gas station off the highway in the middle of nowhere. The flickering fluorescent lights barely illuminated the dirty building and oil-stained concrete. As I saw this, I shuddered at the thought of spending any more time in this creepy place than I had to. Pulling up to the pump, I looked around my general area, feeling paranoid, but did not see anyone around me. I quickly filled up and realized I didn't have my credit card. I only had cash, so I had to go inside and pay. The cashier, a thin man with greasy hair and a creepy smile, seemed to be staring at me with a disgusting vibe. He was giving me looks up and down, and it was obvious. I just want to get my gas, and I want this guy to stop being the worst man on the planet. I paid as quickly as possible and tried to make my escape, but as I tried to open the door, I noticed something strange. The doors to the convenience store were locked. I tried to push them open, but they wouldn't budge. Panic set in as I turned to the cashier for help, but he only chuckled and continued to stare at me with the same sinister smile. What's going on here? I demanded, trying to keep the fear out of my voice. Oh, nothing much, the cashier replied in a smug tone. I just like to keep my customers here a little bit longer. It's more fun that way. I could feel my heart pounding in my chest as I tried to come up with a plan. I remembered my cell phone in my pocket and fumbled to dial 911, but the cashier was too quick for me. He lunged at me, knocking the phone out of my hand and sending it skidding across the floor. I backed up against a wall, trying to keep my distance from the crazed man in front of me, but it was too late. The last thing I saw was the glint of a knife before everything went black. When I woke up, I was tied to a chair in a dingy back room of the gas station. The cashier stood over me, still smiling that sinister smile. Welcome to my little game, he whispered. You will be here for a while, just like all the others. I closed my eyes and prayed for a miracle, knowing that I may never make it out of this creepy gas station alive. As my eyes were closed, he took his knife and cut the rope from my hands. I was confused, but then he turned out the lights and started hunting me. I knew I didn't have much time and needed to develop an escape plan fast. The good news is that I have some pepper spray in my bag. I got it out and waited quietly. I also grabbed a rock that I found under the shelf I was hiding behind. I heard his heavy breathing coming closer to me. He must have smoked two packs of cigarettes a day and couldn't help but breathe heavy. He came around the corner of the shelf to the aisle I was hiding in. He saw me and ran directly at me. I smashed a rock over his head and pepper sprayed him in the face. I pushed him down to the ground and grabbed his keys. I unlocked the door and got in my car. I was able to get away successfully. The next time I get gas, I'm going to a more public location. Be careful of getting gas at night. You don't know if the threat could be outside or inside the gas station. It was a dark night and I was driving down a deserted highway, trying to get home as quickly as possible. I had been on the road for hours and my stomach was growling with hunger. Just as I was about to give up hope on finding a place to eat, I spotted a dimly lit gas station off in the distance. I pulled into the station, relieved to finally have a place to rest and grab something to eat. As I walked into the convenience store, I was immediately struck by how empty and abandoned it seemed. The lights were flickering, and there was a thick layer of dust on everything. I made my way to the back of the store, hoping to find some chips or candy to munch on. As I reached for a bag of chips, I heard a strange noise behind me. I turned around and saw a figure standing in the shadows, watching me with cold, dead eyes. I froze, unsure what to do. The figure seemed to be beckoning me closer, but something about it made me feel uneasy. I was not trusting whatever it was. My instincts told me to run, but my legs were shaking too much to move. Suddenly, the figure lunged at me. I screamed and stumbled backwards, tripping over a stack of chips and falling to the ground. I scrambled to my feet and ran for the door, my heart pounding in my chest. As I burst out of the store, I saw a car parked in the lot. I ran towards it, hoping to find someone inside that could help me. But as I approached the car, 
I saw that the driver was the same figure that had chased me in the store. I turned and ran the opposite direction, my legs pumping as fast as they could go. I could hear the figure gaining on me. Its labored breathing echoed in my ears. Just as I thought I was about to be caught, I saw a pair of headlights in the distance. I ran towards them, waving my arms frantically. The car slowed to a stop, and I threw myself inside, sobbing with relief. As I caught my breath, I looked over at the driver, expecting to see a kind stranger who had come to my rescue. But to my horror, the driver was the same figure that had chased me in the gas station. I screamed and tried to open the door, but it was locked. The figure turned to me and spoke in a voice that was both familiar and terrifying. And with that, the figure drove off into the night, leaving me trapped in the back seat with the doors locked, with me wondering what was about to happen. I was on my way home from a late shift at my restaurant job. I had been driving for a while and I was starting to get tired. So I decided to stop at a gas station I saw to fill up my tank and get a coffee. As I pulled into the station, I noticed that it looked a little run down and abandoned. There were two cars parked there, so someone was there at least. The overhead lights were dim and some were burned out and there didn't seem to be anyone around. There was a neon sign in the window that said open. Still, I was desperate for a caffeine fix. So I got out of my car and made my way towards the door. As I entered the station, I was immediately struck by how cold and damp it felt inside. The air was heavy and stagnant, and there was a strange smell that I couldn't quite place. I tried to ignore it and headed straight for the coffee machine, but as I reached for a cup, I heard a faint whisper coming from the corner of the room. I froze, listening intently. The whisper was barely audible but I could make out a few words here and there. Help me, it seemed to say. I'm trapped here. I turned to see who was speaking, but no one was there. I looked around the room, but it was empty except for me and the cashier. I couldn't explain it, but I felt a sense of dread wash over me. I asked the cashier if he heard a noise. He said, no, but he looked at me with a questionable demeanor. I was starting to think that someone was actually trapped and the cashier knew something. I didn't want to say any more, but I wanted to get some distance and call the police to check it out. I quickly grabbed my coffee and headed back to my car, trying to shake off the feeling of disgust. If he really had kidnapped someone, he was a terrible human being. As I drove off, I called the police and told them what I had experienced. A squad investigated the gas station and called me back a few hours later. They put a woman on the phone named Ruthie. She thanked me for calling the cops. Ruthie had pulled into the same gas station about 15 minutes prior to me. She had been ambushed by the cashier and was tied up and hidden in the back of the store. It was just blind luck that I was able to hear her and get out of there and call the police. If you hear a cry for help in the distance, make sure you answer the call. Hey, Spooky Center here. Uh, we're starting off with gas station horror stories. Uh, some other stuff we got coming up is a uh, re-recording of American Haunted Places to Texas, uh, Cabin in the Woods stories, hotel horror stories, and Ouija board stories. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Like, share, subscribe, and come visit me on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Spooky Sooner. Have a good night. Stay spooky. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I knew I didn't have much time. I needed to develop a... a, 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 a. I scrambled to my feet and ran for the door. My heart panned, panding. <laughs> so I decided to stop at a gas station and I... Uh, it was just luck that I was able to hear her and get her out of there. Nope. Um, it was just blind luck that I was able to get... Shoot.